Gaoi, where have you brought me this time? Yingchuan, Ying, Ningxia, Autonomous Region. Clearly, the city is a little bit smaller than Shangqing. We discussed earlier, it's about 1.3 million. Beautiful, huh? Yes. It's totally beautiful. It's the smallest, uh, uh, you know, the promise, but we call it uh, Autonomous Region. Now, we came out here for, you know, the third uh, annual event for the wine in this region, which we've done some research on this wine. And this region, I would say they're trying to make it the region for China. Like mm -hmm. this is this is it. This is the area yeah, they're going to do the it. climate. So it's a perfect place to grow the grapes. Yeah, very sunny here. As soon as I got off the plane, I could feel it. And you're right. The longitude that uh, this province, or part of me, autonomous region, is on is the same as what you would find in California. So this is why it's so popular for grapes. Mm. And that's important for the soil. And you can see here, there is a lot of attention put in to the climate here. Uh, not only uh, from renewable resources that the government has put in place, but you can tell, like, look how green this city is. Wherever you look, you see trees and uh, rivers and lakes, and then it's just absolutely stunning. Uh, so tell me, this... Uh, this autonomous region, it, it borders... It borders Shanxi, to, uh, Shanxi, Shanxi, province. Shanxi province, okay. And, uh, in the Mongolia. In the Mongolia, and just the, around the corner then, I yes, guess. Yes, and uh, just the, after the Hela Mountain. Okay, and now... Also Gansu province. So basically, it's uh, in, located in northwest China. And uh, uh, the, it's the small, smallest one, uh, as well as the population. And uh, uh, here is the main residence area for the Hui people. Ah, okay. So we call it a Hui Autonomous Region. Hui Autonomous and Region. And they have their special uh, religion, beliefs, and also food. Ah, I so see. Okay. People, uh, a little bit, their, their daily life, is, daily a, life. A, is a little bit different from Hanzi. A little people. bit different. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, and you can kind of feel that too. Uh, it's got quite a nice spirit when you get off the plane here. And you notice the geography is very different. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, we're, could we say that it almost feels like uh, this is a very, uh, sometimes a very harsh climate because it's almost near Gansu in the uh, desert area? Not really. Not, not really. really, okay. Actually, yesterday the driver told me that thanks to the special geography okay. and also the big mountains, which, you know, uh, beyond the mountains, that's the desert. Okay. So thanks to the mountains, it's you know uh, it's protected a little protected bit. the city. Ah, so I it see. Became, uh, we Chinese call it here Sai Shang Jiangnan, which means this city just like a southern China, Chinese city. Ah, because they have so many water, uh, have so many uh, green oases, right? Right, right. So right. so it's uh, different from other uh, western uh, northern western city, northwestern city. Right. So it's unique here. Mm. So it's very unique in China. Because I noticed, you know, the geography, you know, even of this city, the city is wonderful. I mean, it's, it's got a lot of character to it. And if you're just visiting China for the first time, it's worth it to make a trip here because it doesn't have that big hustle and bustle of, the, you know, the big mega cities, you know, the, the, you know, the Shanghai's, the Beijing's, Chongqing's and Shenzhen's and all that. Those cities are fantastic, but... I really feel this is one of my first visits, even though from Canadian standards, 1 million, 1 in 1.3 million people is still a lot, but it feels very friendly, it feels inviting here. Mm -hmm. And a person, if a person likes nature, a person likes, you know, enjoying beautiful wines, this is the place you end it. We were at that show yesterday and some of the numbers that we were talking about, the production numbers, are into the hundreds of millions of bottles of wine here. Mm. And uh, it's good that you know, 200 million, uh, 200 million. Yeah, he's just doing it. Staggering. Well, here we're coming up on one of the signs here. 
I'll just walk underneath it and I'll show it to you guys behind me. The Third China International Cultural and Tourism Expo, you can see it's right there. And on top of it, in small thing, it's, I guess that means C-I-W-C-T-E, but that little I there is of a wine glass. And the people here are curious. They definitely know when somebody's from out of town <laughs> walking around, but very laid back attitude, which is cool. We're coming up to, is this a lake here? I wonder if this is a lake. Yeah. Um, you did talk about the Yellow River. That is a fascinating river. Do you know much about it? We Chinese call it the Mother River. Yeah, the Mother River. Mother River. I even saw that in my in the hotel room. It says, "Yeah, because please be kind. Mm -hmm. Don't use all the towels. Take care of our Mother River." Yeah, Mother. Ri river. The Mother River. Yes, yes. So we call it Mother River, and basically, we it the river seeds the most part of the uh, northern China region. Wow, wow. So like uh, Ningxia, like Gansu. Like Shanxi, Henan, Shanxi, Shandong, all these provinces, the, the river goes through. Because, uh, you know, the ecology is really key to everything. So people are starting to protect it, protect it. And, uh, uh, you know, in the, some worst uh, times, the, the river even, you know, died. Right. But uh, in 10 years, during these 10 years, it's uh, never happened. Never again. happened again. That's good yes. news. Well, let's have a look here at some of the surroundings around us. And my hotel, I believe, looks onto this lake as well. It's just nestled actually in behind those trees here. And lo and behold, there's a little bit of a skyline here in the city and some historical buildings straight ahead. We might either walk over the bridge or you never know, we might head into town and have some food. I got a question for you. Mm. We tried a little bit of food last night. Mm. Okay. Mm. When you're walking around the city center, mm. did you notice any difference in food or was it the uh, same? Uh, not really, because we went to a, you know, modern shop. Modern shop, okay. So basically, yeah, young people like it. So they basically have every all the kinds of food, like uh, the Western fast food, and of course, Chongqing's hot pot, right? We, we, we saw that. But uh, we have a student who is from uh, Yinchuan. Yes, yeah, local, right. local girl. So I just asked her about uh, where can we go to the most uh, authentic local food. Okay. Uh, actually, she recommended some. So we actually, we are living in a uh, new area. A new area. Yeah. You can recognize it. Yeah, yeah. Right? So like the new area, guys. It's new. So I guess the old city is in that side. Is that that side? So they have, uh, you know, uh, mosques, yeah, uh, hospitals, schools, everything, and the snacks. That Does it bring you back any memories of the uh, the places that, where you were born? Is it? Uh, yeah, is it a little yeah. bit familiar to that? So, a little bit familiar. But okay, not as much water as here. The the, the environment here, I I really admire it. Yeah, they've done a fantastic job. Look at the greenery here. It's absolutely Actually, stunning. China is famous for the wetlands. So uh, there, this is one of them. I believe there is, there is another one near the airport, mm -hmm. which is quite bigger than this one. Uh, later when we, uh, we will see it when we go to the airport. I think we're going to show you the mountain here, Helen Mountain, where all the vineyards are nestled in. And as well as the beautiful rivers here, the Yellow River. We'll talk to you in the next destination.